Hey guys, hope you're all doing good. Today I wanted to sit down and film some videos that are long overdue. I posted on my Instagram and then also my Facebook page asking for some topic requests from you. And as I am going to be doing a lot of those topics, I wanted to do a Q&A video too because I felt like some of them didn't require an entire video. And I always enjoy Q&As even though I think I've done a couple in the past couple months, but what's another one? So the first question is how to get ready while having three young kids. Whew, I'm still trying to figure that out. Well, I cut my hair, first of all. I chopped like 12 inches off of my hair, so that's a big change. I used to just throw it on top of my head in a bun, and that literally was my hairstyle like every single day. And I told myself, I am never gonna do the mom chop. I'm never just gonna like chop it off after I have kids. But I was doing the mom bun like every freaking day. So I just decided to cut it off. And it's made life a little bit easier. I've kind of found that if I take a shower and blow dry it the night before, it's a little bit more manageable the next morning. Or even flat iron it at nighttime and then I wake up with this style. It's kind of easy just to wake up and maybe touch up a few places and I'm done. That being said, sometimes I'll wake up a little bit before my kids wake up. Most of the time I don't because I'm so exhausted from waking up all night long. So I do the easiest way that I can, which is to do it the night before or to throw it in a ponytail or to, you know, just find time. If I've got somewhere that I have to go, I will wake up before they do. Sometimes I will do my hair or my makeup if they're eating breakfast. That way they're occupied. I have Caillou or Daniel Tiger or something on. Jude has been nursed and I can do my makeup at the counter while they're eating and just use like a hand mirror. I'm going like this, like I'm eating noodles. I'm, I'm supposed to be holding a mirror and doing my mascara. That's what I look like when I'm doing my mascara. Second question, how to get your kids to listen without yelling? I am still figuring that out. I am not perfect at that, and I couldn't make an entire video dedicated to it because I'm still on that journey. I am the type of mom where I say something nice three times and then I blow a gasket and I'm screaming. <laughs> so I'm trying to figure out how to get my kids to listen without yelling. There are some techniques that I've tried that I've heard work that I'm trying to be consistent with and if they pay off I will make a video for you infant must-haves I have a newborn must-haves video that I will link below for you um, let me think if anything has changed I don't really think anything's changed I've had three kids and I made that after my second I would add a ring sling because I love that carrier but baby carriers in general are really helpful but yeah I will link that below for you and if you have any other questions about infant must-haves, let me know and I'll answer them for you. Do I look like I'm squinting? I feel like I'm squinting. The sun is like beaming down on me, so hopefully I don't look like Casper the Friendly Ghost in here. Having patience when one or both of the other kids are fussy, older kids are fussy. Whew. I am praying. I am praying every day. I am praying all day. I feel like that is the key to that. And I don't always have patience when the older kids are being fussy. They are going through a whining stage. Ezra was going through growth spurts where he was really whiny and uncomfortable all the time and wanted to be held all the time. And then I was trying to nurse Jude. And then Fiona was throwing fits about everything because she's going through like this three-nager stage right now that's really, really trying. So I'm finding for me right now, if I am not spending time in prayer in the morning time, or in devotion and just focusing my heart and my mind in the right direction at the start of my day I am a hot mess so if I notice myself really really losing it and my patience is on edge I try to be really conscious of it and stop and pray and realize that I am focusing all of this on my own energy and I'm trying to attack the day in my own strength and instead of the Lord's so that is a huge thing make sure that you are in prayer I am in prayer we are just praying through this because sometimes it gets real real cry. All right, the car seats that I use, I have a Graco car seat for my youngest and it's like the Snug Ride 30, I think. It's not super expensive, it's not super cheap, it's kind of just your run the mill 
good car seat. I used it with my other two. I used the same type of car seat with my other two. For my older two, I have even flow car seats. They're the bigger convertible ones. And I will link this specific kind of car seat below for you if they still carry it. I don't know off the top of my head. Plans for schooling your kids. We are at this point planning on homeschooling. I'm gonna be starting homeschooling Fiona for her preschool year this upcoming fall. We put a lot of prayer and thought and time and discussion into it and we just really feel for our family and what we're wanting for our children and kind of where we're at in life homeschooling is going to be the best bet for us right now so that is what we're going to be doing i just ordered the horizons preschool homeschool stuff so i'm excited to get that in and see what that's all about i'd love to hear how you dealt with having two kids in a really small space and whether your move has significantly changed your experience of parenting we have two little ones three and a half and one and a half and recently decided to move from a small two-bedroom apartment to a house with a garden but it took a long time to make the decision more space versus not being able to save more for a house one day oh my gosh that was the exact same position that we were in do we spend more money on a bigger place and not be able to get into a house that we own faster or do we crunch into a small area and save as much money as we can girl I know we were right there and we did decide on the bigger place I think it has helped significantly with my experience parenting my kids have room to roam we have like a little gated in deck I mean it's a big deck but it's enclosed so my kids can run around out there they can go in the kiddie pool and the water table yeah I think that it has really really helped however I will say the issues that I have that come out in my parenting I still have and no amount of space or convenience or room no amount of room is going to change that and I was very aware of that before we moved and I did decide that yes we need a bigger place it is worth us spending a little bit more money every month for my kids to have room and when it's time for us to own a house we will own a house but for right now my kids need a little bit more space and me personally I feel like I need a little bit more space and it just worked out well for our family I've also noticed a huge change in my children now that they have more room to roam more room to flourish and grow and stuff to play with they can go outside more often so yeah I do feel like it's changed and it's helped and improved my parenting experience to answer the first part of your question how you dealt with having two kids in a really small space we went out a lot we went to the park a lot we went outside and took walks in our apartment complex a lot we kind of made do with what we had we put a water table out on our balcony because we had nobody below us we just kind of survived we did a lot of fun stuff we created forts inside we created like pillow trails where you could just jump on the trail and it was just like full of pillows and the kids could fly around and jump around. Say hello to Jude who is not wanting me to film right now. Say hi Bubby. Look at this guy. He's huge. You say hi. This kid is like in six slash six to nine month clothes and he just turned three months. He is huge. How do you handle a toddler who doesn't communicate super well? 15 months, she screams at me and wants my attention. We are working on saying mama softly instead. And she does it once, I correct her, but the screaming makes me crazy. Oh. I say get through it. I say spend a lot of time in prayer. Take a lot of deep breaths. Remember this season is going to go fast even though it feels like it's taking forever. So just hang in there. Fiona was really hard around 18 months and oh my gosh, I stressed myself out so much trying to like make everything perfect, figure out what it was that I was doing wrong that was causing her to act this way. And I eventually just had to realize that it's stuff that she's dealing with. I mean, a lot of it can be attributed to your parenting or your environment, but you really just gotta give yourself grace and hang on. Talk really slow with her, get down on her level. Sometimes she's gonna have emotional outburst and there's really not much that you can do about that. Make sure you're getting out of the house, make sure she's getting enough stimulation during the day and just try to model to her what you want her to give back to you if that makes sense so don't scream <laughs> don't lose your temper I know that sometimes that's gonna happen that's real life but just try to be conscious of it and eventually she'll grow out of it and everything will be a lot better and she'll be doing something else that's crazy and you'll be wanting advice on that so 
<laughs> just hang on, Mama, and get through it. Would love to see a house tour. You're an inspiration to me and you don't even know. Oh, I'm a mother of two little boys and looking forward to more children and expanding our family. I love watching your videos and hearing your words of encouragement. You are always so positive and a wonderful example to your kids of what a godly mother really is. Love you, girl. Oh, thank you so much. What a sweet, sweet comment. That means so much to me. And I'm not always positive. I am more of a realist, <laughs> but I try to be positive. And I'm trying to focus on just being hopeful, I guess, and hopeful in Christ and what he's doing in our lives. I will probably not do a house tour, but once everything's painted and we're adjusted and everything is the way that I want it to be-ish, I will show you guys like maybe rooms and stuff in the house, but I'm not gonna show you the entire layout, if that's okay. It's just a comfort thing for me. All right, this is the last one. After having three babies, do you want a fourth or a fifth? How many would be too many? for you and would you or your hubby get fixed well I don't know and I feel like I've said this a few times in a few different videos I'm not sure I don't know if we want more kids I don't know how I feel about birth control but I know I don't want 20 kids like the Duggars um, or 19 kids or however many kids that they have I don't know I want to be able to give to my children me and I don't want to have to give them parts of me. I've noticed with my kids being so close together in age that I feel like I can't adequately meet every single one of their needs that they have. And that's real life, right? We're not going to be able to meet every single need that our children have at every single point of the day. And that's not realistic in the big world either. We have to learn patience. We have to know the world doesn't revolve around us. What I mean is that I don't want to be spread so thin that I can't be there for my children. I can't be available to them. I can't be involved. I can't be there at their games because I've constantly always got another baby that I'm taking care of. I want to be able to be present, I guess. I think that's a good word. That being said, I don't know how many kids is too many kids. I don't know where my husband and I want our family to be at right now. And I've kind of just come to terms with it. I don't want to plan on having another baby probably for a few years because my hands are full right now. And yes, they're full of blessings, but they're full and I'm stressed and it's a lot of work and I'm not complaining, but I know that I'm kind of tapped out right now. And so I want to be able to be the best mom that I can be to my three children before I give them any more siblings or we try to have any more kids or anything like that. I don't think that we would ever get fixed. Like permanently, I'd go get my tube side, my husband would get a vasectomy. I don't see that happening. I don't really see that being a choice that we would make anytime soon at least. I don't know how I feel about that. My husband and I are 26 and 27 and so for us to make that decision, I feel like it's pretty permanent. Oh, look at that face. What's wrong? Are you done? You done? Say, mommy, I'm done. You talk too much. Give me boobies. Yes. I don't think that that is a decision that we would make right now or ever. I'm not really sure. So that's my answer to your question. That is all the questions that I'm going to be answering in this video. If you put a topic below my Instagram or my Facebook post asking about a specific video topic, I will do it. I will try my hardest to do it. It'll just be in a, its own video. These were just questions that I felt like could be good for a Q&A and answer and you know, give me another reason to make another video because Lord knows if I can fit in as much topic in one video these days as I can, I'm gonna do it, you know what I'm saying? All right, well, thank you guys for watching. Jude, say bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> as fussy as he's been, he really is like the most chill, laid-back baby. We just love this little chunky booty. Look at that neck. Look at those. He's even got neck rolls. You're so cute. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and for dealing with all my craziness going on over here. Kids screaming, babies crying, and um, this is my life. So thanks for watching. I love you guys, and I miss you. I know I haven't been doing a lot of videos lately. We're just riding this season out, guys, because this is how life is. But I appreciate your love and support and you guys watching, and I will see you next time. Bye. Judy! <laughs> 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 Ah. Uh -huh. Did it did it.